Max's Game Podcast, and I'm here in the heart of downtown Wilmington. I actually had a good post office to pick up a package, and um, I really like this town a lot. I've lived here all my life. It's uh, historic down here. As you guys can see, there's some uh, horse rides, and take you guys over here. We also have the Cape Fear River, which is really, really beautiful. They've uh, filmed a lot of movies down here. They've filmed uh, The Crow, uh, Teen Ninja Turtles 1 and 2, and even the Super Mario Brothers movie. As bad as that is, I can watch that movie and see parts of my town in it, which I think is really cool. But uh, anyway, I'm going to head over to the post office and uh, pick up a package from James Gruce, my co-host. He sent me a couple of games. So, uh, let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm back in the post office. Uh, before I head home, I wanted to go to my favorite sandwich place in Wilmington, and that's uh, Chop Deli. I'll show you guys what I have right here. It's called the Manhattan. These sandwiches are gigantic, and they make their own orange shade, which is really good. So, you guys see, I had the package. I want to eat this up, and then when I head back, I'll show you what's in it. Hey guys, I'm back from downtown, and I have my package from Mr. James Gruesome. I want to show you guys, uh, Oh, it's in spite of it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, seriously. Um, I want to let you guys know that there is a little backstory to this uh, package I got. Um, basically, two months ago, I went with my band to Fayetteville to play a show. We play show there. We play shows there quite often, and that's actually how I met James. And he sold me this awesome Sega Genesis collection. And um, I mean. It's an understatement how awesome it was. But anyway, he, he sold me the, the 32X and the second CD add-on in a couple of games. Well, he was browsing around his house and he found some more 32X games that he just wanted to send me. So anyway, this is basically what was in the package was the 32X games. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the games I got. Uh, one of them I had is uh, Virtual Racing. Now, I'll let you guys know ahead of time. I haven't really played a whole lot of 32X games. I've never actually owned one. I've only read reviews and saw video footage. So some of these games that I'm going to be playing are going to be for the very first time. And I'm really looking forward to playing this one right here. Also, uh, Motocross. I've heard some very interesting things about this game. Uh, so I'm anxious to give it a whirl. Also, uh, I got Space Harrier. Here, this is an awesome uh, 32X game, so thanks a lot, James, for this one right here. And uh, also, one of my all time favorite games, uh, my favorite Mortal Kombat, it's Mortal Kombat 2. I actually had this for the Genesis and also for the uh, Combat, Mortal Kombat collection on the Xbox Live. So um, I'm anxious to see what this port is going to have to offer. So, again, thank you very much, man. And I also have Star Wars, uh, the arcade game. Now, I actually have played this one before, uh, and it's a pretty good arcade port. It's a lot of fun. I, I really like the soundtrack to it. It's, you know, very, you know, 16-bit Star Wars music, so I think that's pretty awesome. So I'm definitely going to be drinking some beer and playing this tonight. And the last one I wanted to show you guys is uh, it's boxed. It doesn't have a manual. But uh, WWF Monday Night Raw. Now, I played this on the Super Nintendo, and, you know, I'm a huge, or I was, a huge wrestling fan uh, back in the day. I don't really watch it now, but, you know, in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, I was, a, I, I was glued to the television when wrestling was on. It wasn't until WCW kind of went out of business that I quit watching it. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun to play. It's going to be like going down Nostalgia Hall right there with Doink the Clown and, you know, Razor Ramon slash Scott Hall and Kevin Nash and stuff. But uh, anyway, I wanted to say thank you very much, James. Um, you know, he helps out a lot with the podcast. He helps me come up with a lot of good ideas. And um, I don't think the podcast would be nearly as exciting if he wasn't a part of it because... If he wasn't there, I'd be talking to myself for 30 minutes, and that's, that's not fun. So anyway, until then, guys, happy gaming.